if you can start by telling us um, a, a bit about your experience on working on uh, Dick Indian Circus. Um, well, as the name suggests, like Dick Indian Circus means watch Indian Circus. It's really about the circus that India is, the country. And so it's that, that sort of a thing has been used as a metaphor. Um, it's a, it's a quite a layered film. Um, it, it has a straight, simple storyline where these two kids uh, in a small village in India, they want to go to the next village to watch a circus. And they're so poor that, you know, the mother with great difficulty is still struggling to just, you know, fulfill that little wish. And the film is about, you know, how she, the mother, you know, sort of saves little, little money from here and there. And then the entire journey of their going to the next village and then whether they are able to watch the circus or not. Um, and while they're traveling, you see, not only that you see, you know, the beauty of the landscape of the country, but you also see all the layered problems and of development and things like, you know, that you don't have basic amenities, but you have mobile phones. So, you know, the confusion that the country is going through, but the aspirations of people as well and the dreams uh, which are quite similar like you know every mother whether it's a villager or a city mother they dream that their children should go to school and you know have a better life mm. so you know there's th there are all those layerings but it's a very sort of upbeat film and um, the kids are delightful and um, it's very colorful and it's in the spirit of uh, what you know Indian living is which is very spirited in mm. spite of a lot of problems you know you, we don't lose spirit and we're not depressed and unhappy we're still like oh yeah fine <laughs> so the film also is in that spirit it celebrates life yeah and but it talks about the layered uh, issues as well um, the film actually has been received quite well in various parts of the world that we've been to we've been to you know Asia's biggest festival Busan and we won the audience's choice award there which was like a huge thing then uh, in New York both my co-actor Nawaz and I we won the best actor and best actress award and uh, it's been to Chicago it's been to a lot of different festivals and the reviews have been fantastic till now and this is the first um, screening in uh, London and so I'm really looking forward to uh, the audience reaction and I know that the English audience really sort of embraces all kinds of films and I'm uh, really looking forward to the screenings here on the 23rd and the 24th. Because you have a very big fan base here already because of like Brick Lane yeah. and um, a lot of other films that you've done here and I mean have you found the working in like you know for a British film company a film industry like different to the Indian film industry are there any differences yeah, you find? absolutely I think working I mean not only British like I've done a number of European films and it is it's the the whole structure is very different um, um, uh, but I enjoy that difference um, because as an artist it's it's also style of acting that changes um, when I'm doing a German film it's like okay don't do anything <laughs> Um, um, I mean, British cinema is somewhere in between what Indian cinema allows and what German cinema doesn't allow. <laughs> right. Can you elaborate? So, like, yeah. <laughs> just like yeah, so um, so I think sort of, you know, also uh, uh, like adjusting to those different styles of acting and expression is also something that I really enjoy as an actor. And um, the setups are very different. I think I, I think even within India, each director works differently. Like when I was working for Dek Indian Circus, Mangesh is a very intuitive director. So a lot of things happened on set in spite of the fact that we had a very uh, sort of structured script. Um, whereas I just finished a film called Gaur Aridastan. Everything was measured and he is an Indian director. And we didn't shoot a single day extra while we were shooting in Bombay city which is really unheard of because we always go overboard like this was like done dot on time my dates never changed it's the most structured Indian film I've ever worked with and the director was like you know everything was really really measured he knew everything in his head so I think even within India it, it, it kind of changes and I'm sure that's true 
uh, even here like I've worked with a French director who was quite like mad and you know he would think about things on set and uh, and he'd say okay no today we aren't shooting and that's not what we, you would expect out of a European structure film so I guess it's sometimes individual as well so I treat it as individual directors Mm. So what's uh, the, the other film that you're talking about that you just finished now? Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, I've just finished that film. That's again another Indian film. Uh, it's again, it's about an Indian freedom fighter um, who fought for India's freedom till he was 17 years old. But for the next 40 years, he fought with the Indian bureaucracy after we, after our independence uh, to get that certificate. Asad! <laughs> <laughs> One minute, sorry. If you could go through yeah, the next yeah. film again. Um, yeah, so the next film is about actually a freedom fighter who fought for India, India's uh, freedom till he was 17 years old. And then for the next 40 years of his life, he fought with the bureaucracy of India to get that certificate of you know, freedom fighter. So it's again a critique about the Indian system of bureaucracy and you know what we've done. Uh, but I've done a number of interesting films last year. And one is Joe Wright's Anna Karenina. Uh, I've done that, which is releasing in November. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I've done a very small film called Monsoon Shootout by a very interesting director called Amit Kumar, which is a UK, which is actually the first Indo UK co production. It's been co produced by Asif Kapadia and Anurag Kashyap, and it was developed by the UK Film Council. And Amit is a very interesting director, and that's a, I think that's a film that I'm really looking forward to. I've done a film called Bombay's Most Wanted, which is again a co-production uh, between Italy, India, and Naman's actually uh, uh, written, co-written the script. Um, so there are a number of very, very interesting films coming up, <laughs> and there's the Indian Circus. <laughs> These are all the films you've done within the past year. <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah. I mean, there are a few more which I'm not naming, but yeah, I've done a Bollywood film as well, and it's been a very interesting journey because. I've done a film which is a very big sort of, you know, scale costume drama like Anna Karina to a very small film like Monsoon Shootout to a mid-budget film like uh, BMW to um, a Bollywood film. So all, all sorts of things and all kinds of roles. I've really had a very interesting year. Mm -hmm. And do you think it's going to continue like this or would you prefer to... I hope to... so. <laughs> would you prefer to focus on just the one or would you prefer to just be no, Miss International? I think as, an, as an actor I like to do all kinds of things and I, I do get, you know, as actors we always struggle against typecasting and I do really get bored when the same kind of things but having said that sometimes I still have to do it because that, that's the only thing that's being offered. But then when, you know, I get something that I can break, you know, my previous image, yeah. I just love doing that and last year has been incredible. It's various different kinds from a bar dancer to a singer in a hotel to a villager in a Rajasthan in, in Rajasthan to playing a mother where I had to gain weight to a gangster's wife who gets beaten up all the time. I mean to Anna Karenina where I'm a gypsy uh, to a Bollywood film which is very like sort of it's it's such a wide range of things I really enjoyed. Okay, final question. When do you sleep? <laughs> I get a lot of time to sleep, let me tell you. I'm an actor, I need my sleep. 